Well, first off, I want to thank the mayor, um, Kevin, uh, Councilman Gilman, uh, Deborah Lamb for uh, your vision and your work to make sure that um, uh, the work that we're doing benefits all people in all communities. Um, my name is Bill Jenneret. I am uh, the CEO of an organization called Urban Innovation 21, and we run a program called the Pittsburgh Central Keystone Innovation Zone. We were started in 2007 with the goal of making sure that a lot of the good stuff that was happening in tech actually went out into the neighborhoods. And so, uh, very excited, uh, 2007, uh, when we were formed, uh, we were formed by Duquesne University, UPMC, and a, a variety of uh, uh, stakeholders, they're all here, the URA, with the goal of uh, making sure that a lot of the great stuff that was happening in Oakland, Pitt, CMU, uh, uh, filtered into uh, the Hill District and Uptown. And um, very early on, I had the pleasure of meeting up with uh, Dale McNutt. And uh, Dale, uh, uh, at the time, had a, an incredible space. And we said, why don't we figure out how we could utilize the incentives that we have through our KIZ program, uh, along with your great space, to get some companies to locate uh, here in Uptown. Because as was stated earlier, from an economic development standpoint, when companies locate in a community, uh, a lot of great stuff happens. You have a lot of other businesses. Uh, you have a lot of economic development that happens. And so that's sort of our, our joint, joint, uh, joint story. Uh, so again, if clusters of high growth entrepreneurs move to and start or grow in an area, a lot of great things happen. And we're seeing that um, in uh, Uptown uh, in the Hill District. Uh, it's a process, but uh, some really good stuff is, is happening. So the incentives we have, uh, there's a direct cash incentive, a tax credit that goes to companies. So um, uh, about $4 million in uh, cash is going to entrepreneurs uh, that have been located in the Keystone Innovation Zone. Uh, we have a grant program where we provide seeds, small, small, small seed grants on the tune of about $412,000. Uh, we also have a, a, a very robust internship program. Uh, this slide's a little dated, but we've provided uh, 396 internships, paid internships for students from Duquesne, Point Park, Carlo, and CCAC to work for our innovation companies. And what I'm most excited about that is uh, about 60% of the participants are women and about 50% are African Americans. And that's uh, something that you don't see. So when we talk about spreading uh, this to communities, you have, we have to be intentional. And so uh, that's what our work is. Uh, something else that we started doing in the last couple years was helping residents start businesses that could somehow feed into the ecosystem. Because what we saw was we saw a lot of great stuff happening, but we really didn't see, feel like the residents could participate. So we've provided a bunch of incentives to, to help do that. Um, so we work with you know, hundreds of community-based entrepreneurs a year through uh, our grant competitions where uh, we give out about $200,000 in grants and then provide wraparound services to um, uh, a variety of community-based businesses, uh, all with the goal of creating an inclusive uh, ecosystem. So uh, here, this is the, the, the Hill District and, and Uptown, and uh, uh, some great development has happened in that community since 2007. A lot of players have worked on uh, helping to make that happen. Uh, the role that Start Uptown and uh, some other uh, of, of the, the, the real estate uh, entities that house some of the companies are, are really the driving force in, in, in a lot of this development. That's it. <laughs>